ओम शांति सेकेंड मे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इंग्लिश मॉरली एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन मे यू बी सोल कॉन्शियस कंटिन्यू टू फॉलो द श्रीमत ऑफ दिवान फादर योर क्लैन इज एलिवेटेड यू हैव टू बिकम स्पिनर्स ऑफ द डिस्कस ऑफ सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन क्वेश्चन वॉट आर द फादर्स डिरेक्शन फॉर द शिव शक्ति पांडव आर्मी आंसर the father's directions are follow shrimat and take this boat of bharat across renounce all bodily religions constantly remember me alone become pure and enable others to become pure hew the shiv shakti pandav army become pure and do the service of making bharat pure with your bodies minds and wealth do true service of bharat by following shrimat with the power of non violence today's song salutations to shiva om shanti you children heard the song this is the praise of incorporeal shiva the supreme father the supreme soul he is called god god is only one the people of bharat have many gods they believe cats dogs pebbles and stones to be god they even consider themselves to be god too and this is why god says all of them are atheists there is a lot of praise of the supreme father the supreme soul he purifies the impure world that is he makes bharat that was as poverty stricken as shells into a crown of diamonds it is a matter of 5000 years when bharat was double crowned who is explaining this that supreme father that supreme soul shiva who is also called the ocean of knowledge the praise is of the father the creator for all the rest is creation people of bharat say you are the mother and father and we are your children bharat had plenty of happiness but it doesn't have that now it is now the devilish community of ravan every man and woman has the five vices present in them kings queens sages and holy men etc are all included in this they definitely have one vice or another this is the impure world impure bharat bharat was pure in the golden age there was a pure household religion a pure family path it is now an impure family path bharat was double crowned and it had limitless wealth there were palaces studded with diamonds and jewels the muslims etc later looted it and put those diamond and jewels on their mosques and tombs etc the people of bharat have become completely poverty stricken because of forgetting me you have become atheists i make the people of bharat into deities there is the praise you are the mother and father therefore you would surely receive the inheritance of heaven from the father you can receive plenty of happiness of heaven from him the father says i make you into the masters of heaven by teaching you raj yoga and knowledge the supreme father the supreme soul comes and teaches souls he says may you be soul conscious it isn't that you have to become god conscious that is wrong god is not omnipresent the father is shiva and the children are saligrams both reside in the supreme abode so all of us are souls sanyasis then say brahm aham in brackets i am brahm there is just the element of brahm everywhere all the rest is false we are brahm to shri shri 108 jagat guru the purifier is only one he alone is called the sat guru how can those who reside in the impure world be called the purifier they are impure themselves and so how could they purify others they perform marriages of those who are pure at first and make them impure shibaba now says children 
may you be soul conscious have the faith that you are souls the father himself comes and teaches you raj yoga shri krishna cannot be called god he is human being with divine virtues he was a prince of the golden age the praise of the supreme father the supreme soul is very great he himself says to souls o souls when you were in the golden age you were so pure but you have now become impure if you now want to become happy once again then follow shrimat the most elevated directions are from god on the one hand people say that god is beyond name and form and on the other hand they say that he is omnipresent this is called defamation of religion no one knows that there was the original eternal deity religion in bharat they don't have any knowledge about who established that they don't know the father or the beginning the middle and the end of his creation only people would know this animals would not know it shiv baba is also called baba and the brahmin clan is established through prajapita brahma no human being knows how the supreme father the supreme soul creates them or how he carries out sustenance prajapita brahma is the one who creates the human world the supreme father the supreme soul is also called the creator he is the father of souls so all the brahma kumars and kumaris are the children of shiva you receive the inheritance from that mother and father baba says i gave you birth and so you have to remember me you also have to remember your inheritance death is just ahead when a person is about to die he is told to remember god god himself now says children follow my shrimat there are the directions of the yadvas others are the directions of the kauravas and these are the directions of the pandavas the pandavas receive god's directions it is remembered those who had non living intellects at the time of destruction pandavas have loving intellects you know that this is a land of falsehood it became a land of truth 5000 years ago when the date is ruled there the people of bharat were the masters of the whole world they are not that now you are now once again becoming the masters of the world in the golden age there was the kingdom of the world almighty authority it is not that now the father says i am establishing that once again all the other religions will end you now remember the supreme father the supreme soul the purifier consider yourselves to be souls it is said a sinful soul and a charitable soul in bharat all were charitable souls and they are now sinful souls he would not say charitable supreme soul you children are now completing your 84 births i have now come to take you children back home i am your unlimited father and also your teacher i tell you the secrets of the unlimited history and geography and make you into spinners of the discus of self realization deities are not spinners of the discus of self realization the clan of brahmins is the most elevated brahmins are the top not the children of prajapita brahma who are to become deities the father says at first you were brahmins then you became warriors then merchants and then shudras you continued to take rebirth i am now giving you these teachings once again and making you into deities at this time the people of bharat are absolutely in a graveyard and they give themselves big titles the sarvodaya leader sarvo means all human beings of the world and to have mercy for all of them human beings cannot do this only the one father is called knowledgeful blissful 
Baba now says, renounce all bodily religions. Constantly remember me and your sins will be destroyed in the fire of yoga. It isn't that the Ganges is the purifier. Only the one father is the purifier. You are the Shiv Shakti Pandava army and you remain pure. You mothers of Bharat are the Shiv Shakti Pandava army who are making this Bharat into heaven with your bodies, minds and wealth. On the one side there is non-violence and on the other side there is violence. What are they doing and what are you doing? There is the memorial. It is the memorial of the service you did 5000 years ago. You are doing service. This is knowledge. There is no question of blind faith in this. You used to go to the Shiva temple, but you didn't know that Shiva Baba is the creator of heaven and that you should definitely receive the inheritance of heaven from him. God would always give you children the inheritance of happiness. This is why everyone remembers him and says, O purifier, come, O Baba, come and give us our fortune of the kingdom of heaven once again. Come and grant us liberation in life. God alone is the bestower of salvation. You are the Shiv Shakti Pandava army who become pure and enable others to become pure. You are those who take the boat of Bharata cross by following Srimad. You have received the Father's Srimad. Renounce all bodily religions and constantly remember me alone. He is the Father, the Truth, the Living Being, the ocean of knowledge, the ocean of happiness. He comes to teach you children. The Father speaks to souls. It is souls that listen. It is souls that do everything. The Father says, You are long lost and now found. You are the ones who were separated for a long period of time. Which souls come from the supreme abode first? Those who have to stay here till the end. Those deities existed at the beginning of heaven. They are the ones who have taken the full 84 baths. When the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul comes, souls who have been separated from the Father for a long period of time are the ones who come first and claim their inheritance from the Father. Children, while living at home with your families, remember Baba. Stay as pure as a lotus, follow Srimad and become as elevated once again. You experienced a lot of happiness for half a cycle and then Maya Ravan made you fall by making you follow devilish dictates. Those who were the Sun dynasty then became the Moon dynasty. You have now once again become Brahmins from Shudras. You are incognito. No one recognizes you. Unlimited Babuji says, I am the Bapuji, in brackets, father of the whole world. I alone will establish heaven. That limited Bapuji, in brackets, Gandhiji, got rid of the foreigners. This one will take you away from this world. The many religions are to be destroyed and the one religion established. Only those who understood all of these things in the previous cycle will understand them. Those who came into the Sun Dynasty Kingdom will come and rule again. This is a big tree. The sapling of the original eternal deity religion is now being planted. The Iron Age is a forest of thorns and the Golden Age is a garden of flowers. Those who gave one another happiness are called the deity community. Those who cause sorrow are called the devilish community. Shri Baba comes and establishes Shivalaya. He makes you into the masters of heaven to the extent that you make effort so you will accordingly claim a status. There was at first the deity community in Bharat and then it became the devilish community. That is the Shudra community. 
You are now once again becoming the deity community. You have now become the godly community and will then become deities. Understand this cycle very well. Acha, to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, father, bab, dada. Salutations to the mothers. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children extend their love, remembrance, say good morning, namaste and thank you. To the spiritual Bap Dada. Essence for Dharana. First point. Give everyone happiness and become part of the deity community. Don't perform any task of the devilish community. Become a helper in establishing Shivalya. Number two. Remain soul conscious. While living at home with your family, remember the one father alone. Incinerate your sins in the fire of yoga. Blessing. May you become an embodiment of success by serving yourself and everyone else with your original sanskar of paying attention and practicing. Explanation. The original sanskar of Brahmin souls is of paying attention and practice. Therefore, never have any tension while paying attention. Always serve yourself when you are serving others. Those who put aside serving themselves and engage themselves in only serving others cannot have success. Therefore, keep a balance of both and move forward. Do not become weak. You are the victorious souls who have become instruments many times. There is no hard work or difficulty for victorious souls. Slogan, be knowledgeful with compassion and your heart will have disinterest in weaknesses. Om Shanti.